Hi, my name is Camille Kidwell. And I'm Rebecca Mallorette. Thank you for joining us for Cavalier Daily's Week in Review. Here are some of this week's top stories. Jesse Matthew has been indicted on the counts of first-degree murder and abduction with the intent to defile in connection with the disappearance and death of second-year college student Hannah Graham. The Virginia House of Delegates recently passed House Bill 1928, introduced by Charlottesville Delegate Rob Bell, which would require adding additional violent misdemeanors to the Virginia DNA database. Madison House announced Tuesday that university alumnus Tim Freilich will take over as its new executive director. Freilich earned his BA and JD at the university, where he also received the Robert F. Kennedy Award for public service. The number two Virginia men's basketball team survived its first test Wednesday without injured junior guard Justin Anderson when they defeated North Carolina State on the road 51 to 47. Saturday, the Cavaliers hosted Wake Forest, downing the Demon Deacons of 61 to 60. The Hoos host Pittsburgh Monday. Friday marked the kickoff of the number two Virginia baseball team season, with the Cavaliers sweeping their three-game series in East Carolina this past weekend. The number nine men's lacrosse team won its season home opener against number 16 Drexel, 14 to 10 Saturday, despite heavy wind and heavy snowfall. The Cavaliers traveled to face Rutgers February 21st. Thank you for watching, and please check out CavalierDaily.com or pick up a paper around grounds for further coverage about these and other stories.